My name is Cash. I live in Long Beach, California, and I'm a physician. I took the Art of Charm program because uh, I'd been listening to the Art of Charm for a couple of months and found a lot of incredibly valuable information that just overall increased my level of happiness and gave me insight in myself and other people and allowed me to interact them with them more. But I felt I needed to actually get into a situation where I was pushed a little bit, where I could kind of use some of the skills that I'd been learning about in paper and on the audio, but actually put them into, into practice. And I felt actually going to the boot camp would kind of push me to do that, and it has. I chose the Art of Charm because I trusted in the product and I trusted in where the information and where the, the teaching was coming from. You know, I'd been listening to Jordan's podcast for months, like I said, and every podcast was just a gem. There was tons of value there that was just given for free. And I felt um, I didn't need to seek out this and in fact I never really even thought about going to a boot camp to you know, increase my and improve my social skills and be able to interact with other people I, I never even conceived of the idea but after learning about the art of charm and then listening to the podcast implementing those things I, I knew that doing something like this in a small environment would really augment my life and it has um, it's always sort of skeptical when you haven't done anything like this and you're shelling out, you know, decent money to be able to participate in a group like this. Um, you know, my wife was definitely, you know, telling me to just look into it and make sure it's all okay and is there a money back guarantee and, you know, all the, all the things that a partner <laughs> kind of, you know, wants to protect you with. but. You know, I think a healthy dose of skepticism is is really, really important. And uh, yeah, so I was a little skeptical. But in the end, you know, I had already been sort of exposed to a lot of the teaching over the last couple of months. So I knew it was coming from a place of, of genuineness and of um, sincerity. So uh, I, I, I really wasn't concerned I was going to get the wool pulled over my eyes from the first day. I met, first of all, the guys that uh, at the program who I've still remained in touch with. And just starting off with AJ and Justin and um, Johnny and, and really interacting with them, plus all the other assistant coaches. Uh, from day one, it was just put your feet to the fire, teach you things, um, really delve deep into what makes me tick and what makes other people tick and really coming from a place of how can you give value to people. Uh, when you go through medical school and pre-med and then residency and fellowship, uh, if anybody's like me, you, you're really just working or studying and kind of going home. But this was the first time in my life that I had actually gone out and almost just tore the night up with a bunch of great guys and did it in a way that was just so fun and enjoyable and exhilarating and scary. And every night, and we went out five nights in a row, got home one, two in the morning and was just excited to do it the next day rather than just being exhausted. Um, yeah, it was, I miss it. I, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, I, I really look forward to, uh, you know, doing it again with uh, my AOC buddies that I met. Unfortunately, they're on the East Coast, but to say the least, incredible. Just what a great, fun, awesome experience. Um, I think the video session was great. It was painful to watch, uh, but I learned a lot by looking at my body language and how I was in terms of how I came off in terms of nervousness and anxiety. So being able to get more grounded and more situated and more calm and relaxed was really helpful. I thought the day, day sessions were great because it forced you to go out, meet multiple different kinds of people, 
and really shed that fear about initiating conversations with random strangers. And I thought the scavenger hunt wa was fantastic as well. Um, and the nighttime stuff was scary, but in the end, it was just absolutely amazing. Well, so I'm thinking about what I could have gotten out of the program, what I got out of the program, which I could not have gotten out on my own. And that is being in a situation where I'm with people who are encouraging me and pushing me and supporting me to really go beyond my comfort zone and uh, being and letting myself come out and totally be comfortable with it. I think I have the tendency to want to read books and listen to podcasts and live vicariously through other people's experiences, but this was actually me getting my experiences on my own. And there was no other way to really push that rubber band of comfort to the point where it snapped, unless I was actually there myself doing what other people have done, such as this program. So this training program for married guys, I think have provided a really great framework for kind of inter interacting and valuing your partner um, and seeing places where you could really add value to your partner and to your relationship. And by doing that, you actually wind up getting value back. So really trying to listen and see, for example, what my spouse preferred or what her subtle cues were when she communicated about what's important to her. Um, you know, and being just a better listener and actually then having the courage to do some of the things which I'd maybe been scared to do. Um, so for a married guy, I think it will make the relationship with your partner much closer. Um, hopefully they'll celebrate in your growth and be able to grow as well. I found that my wife has grown as well and learned from me and she has started to take in some of the teachings about positivity, about basic human need of acceptance, appreciation, and uh, acknowledgement. Uh, and some people may realize that they may not have chosen as great. <laughs> but in the end, I feel like it gave tremendous value to, your, to my close relationships.